Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between OGS, the STC versus Fruit Seller. Now for those of you guys who do not know who Fruit Seller or uh, I referred to him as Fruit Vendor before but I think a lot of people have called him Fruit Seller. So I'm just going to call him as Fruit Seller as now on as that's his official name on the US Battle.net servers. So yeah, Fruit Seller was the most recent winner of one of the largest tournaments in Korea recently. So yeah, Zerg beating out Terran and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to cast this game. Those tournaments are impossible to get a hold of in those replays so i'll just have to settle for one of these zerg versus terran matchups here on metalopolis fruit seller spawning as the red zerg player over here at the seven o'clock position meanwhile ogs the stc spawned as the green terran so once again it will be terran versus zerg uh, re uh the same matchup that we originally had in um, the final so yeah we'll see how this particular game works out a lot of people have been saying that zerg has a lot of very hard time with terran but i believe fruit seller in particular said that the reason why he won the tournament was he never faced a good protoss so maybe it is now zerg beats terran terran beats protoss protoss beats zerg that may be the current matchup and as we have an overlord now moving out black over here we have the standard supply depot and ogs the sec getting that standard barracks as well now one of the comments that i recently had was what's that tapping and thumping now my microphone is a little bit far away from me so i had to turn up the gain a little bit but i do not have a shock mount on the microphone so if i like bump the table like I, all i am is just hitting the table right now if that's really too loud for you guys let me know and i'll look into getting some sort of shock mount for my microphone just let me know if if it's something that you guys would like and appreciate back over here is a standard spawning pool a 14 spawning pool now placed down nearly halfway completed as we now see drones all go, moving around the map in order to determine where exactly the stc has spawned we do see one scv now making his way up this ramp scv will quickly be able to find this location see that is it, it is in fact empty and now realize that most likely fruit seller is spawning down over here now we now in addition we also had the placement of a 16 hatchery so it is a standard spawning pool a 14 spawning pool into a 16 hatchery and what this will allow him to do is get a very strong economic game he did not go for any early extractors so without any early extractors he would not be able to get that metabolic boost he'll be forced to kind of turtle into this location here perhaps get a spine crawler right here and then one more right in this location allowing the spine crawler to protect any harassment from hellions that try to run along this backside now one marine trying to take down this overlord so this overlord already down to 136 hit points however it will be able to get into open space very easily and that poor marine will not be able to shoot down its target back over here a second marine now sitting here as well as now we are getting a factory so a factory now being placed down so it is a barracks in straight into a factory so this may be a 1-1-1 build one barracks one factory into one starport in order to be able to build the proper counter units not very strong in terms of an army build but that way you will never be surprised by your opponent as you're able to get the proper counter unit just in time we now see one hellion being trained and a reactor being placed down by the stc's barracks so we may have a swap here or we may just see some marines being trained in just a moment as the stc getting a command center of his own because he saw that there was a hatchery down here he knew that fruit seller most likely would be trying to play a little bit more of a defensive game so with that defensive game he knew that he could also get an earlier command center so army wise both sides should be fairly small yeah 200 versus 25 fruit seller with only one zergling out and around the map and now one overlord perhaps going to fly in and check the tech here we do see a reactor swap here from this factory and this barrack so this factory will be able to double train hellions in just a moment however we already see the roach warren coming into play from the stc so the STC, or sorry, the from Fruit Seller. So with that Roach Warren, we should be seeing some Roaches. And now, and oh, one Hellion now already coming in. So that one Hellion able to get off one kill. Oh, unable to get that second kill. Very nicely done by Fruit Seller. Fruit Seller morphing into a Spine Crawler, allowing himself to and takes, not take the full damage from the Flamethrower, and then canceling it once again. So now this Hellion, however, taking some pecking damage, and now down goes that Zergling. So really, the STC... Um, only has this one hellion able to get off a couple kills however a swarm of roaches now infesting the map the roaches in the city and they will be able to make their way over here to the north part of this map as well so this is a very very large early force however i do not see any marauders being trained we do see one bunker being trained up so one bunker perhaps down here will allow those marines to try to protect 
against these early roaches. Roaches only with a range of three, as this is patch 1.1. Some of the discussions were for patch um, in patch 1.2 to get um, a range of four. However, Hellions now putting a lot of pressure. I do not think those Hellions got any kills. Oh, one of those Hellions were able to get three kills. Both of those Hellions were able to get three kills as well. So once again, you see Fruit Seller losing some of his economic advantage there. Down to 30 Harvesters. He may have just lost some Zerglings, however. So now trying to train up more and more drones, trying to get a stronger economic advantage, knowing that STC most likely has another orbital command here and now double mining with mules finally getting a second refinery as well so we'll be able to start teching out and get some additional buildings we now see more reactor play and, and some tech labs as these hellions are continuing to just scout around the map in order to g give a lot of advantage and a, a lot of sight throughout the map one scb activating the zelnaga watchtower and now doing double time it's repairing these hellions that were taking that had taken some damage in the midfield we do see one infestation pit coming into here so an infestation pit most likely for infestors or for tier three no real reason to get in an infestation pit besides those two reasons now the key question will be will we get some fungal growth we do see a lot of marines now being trained so yeah, marines being trained stim pack and that combat shield with that level one weapons upgrade double fungal growth will be very very powerful against this fight if in fact it goes that way so infestation pit however not researching anything just quite yet so i'm not sure if he's producing investors however these hellions aren't going to come in and run inside the space will it be able to get any critical damage onto some of these drones however all these all these drones may take some damage there so all those drones are being toasted more and more kills there however the roaches now taking taking them down marines and then a million man march army continuing to move out we have 900 mil army for the STC, meanwhile, fruit sellers sitting on a 500 mineral army, and we see over what 18, 18 marines now down here on that low ground, double training once again marines out of this barracks. There are an, there is another barracks here, also double training marines, and now we see the STC currently supply locked at 62 over 62. Needs to get some additional supply depots in a hurry, or perhaps call down a supply drop. And he is currently going to be supply locked for quite some time. Marines, however, trying to get back, trying to deal some damage towards these Zerglings. Zerglings putting a, a, a little bit of, or sorry, these Zerglings putting in a little bit of pressure. However, too many Marines, as these Marines are also will be upgraded 1-0 one, one, one in just a moment. Stim pack nearing completion as we are now double training two medivacs out of this location. It looks like a supply drop was used. And um, yeah, a supply drop was used. And now more and more supply depots currently being built in order to get a stronger um, stronger army and be able to support this army. So what, two medivacs currently being built still. We see another reactor being placed down by this barracks over here. Level one infantry upgrade nearing completion as these Marines now moving out in a single file line will be able to deal some damage over here. We do see one overlord in this position and this overlord now spawning creep will get shot down out of the sky very, very quickly. One Zergling now testing the waters will get shot down as well, able to deal some damage towards a Marine. However, now we do see Marines stimming and able to get into this position. We do see a, a decent amount of investors and in comes one fungal growth, two fungal growth on top of these units. So all of these units will be and in the red in just a moment roach is now trying to finish off this whole entire fight here as these marines continuing to push however two medevacs now in the air picking up those me and marines i'm not 100 percent sure if you're able to pick up a marine if there is a fungal growth on it i think and um, yeah i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure about that it, even if the medevac is right on top of it i'll have to play around with that if a medevac is also in the belly of a or sorry if a marine is in the belly of a medevac does it take that damage from fungal growth over time once again roach is now coming back in and another fungal growth on top of these marines however one investor getting taken down and we may have a roach getting taken down as well down it goes and now a very very quick pick up there how now infested terran being put down so very nicely done we're probably going to see another fungal growth in just a second no no second fungal growth as these marines unable to be unloaded and down it goes so fruit seller doing a good job there we do see some marines now trying to take down this overlord and army wise 850 versus 1800 for the stc so stc continuing to try to train up more and more units we do see level one armor upgrade and a siege tech now being researched so two additional siege tanks also being trained so we are moving into marines and tanks almost a classic brood war strategy however marines dropping into the base here and able to clear out a lot of those drones. So these Marines getting the plenty of kills and now trying to finish this off. However, Infested Terrans now coming in and they will be able to finish off this fight here. Now it, now it takes a look at... Wow. It looks as though um, Fruit Seller is a little bit behind. And wait, where did all these drones come from? Where were they burrowed? I'm not 100% sure where they were. Um, they weren't in the ventral sack, so it doesn't look like Fruit Seller lost any drones at all. The Marines came in and were quickly taken care of by those Infestors. 
And then when the and then when the Marines were gone, all of these drones came back with a vengeance and started mining once again. Back over here, we now see Marines and siege tanks on the move. Medevac in the air providing support. One Marine down over here. And will this be enough? STC moving out with a very, very large army indeed. Fruit Cellar, however, only has a lot of investors and now perhaps getting some Banelings. So now with Banelings, all of these units over here may take a lot of splash damage if it is coupled with a very, very strong fungal growth making all of those units stationary a spawning pool has been replaced down and now a medevac will get shot down as well as infested terrans coming in however scanner sweep and queens now pushing in marines and marauders marine marauder and siege trying to deal more and more damage will they be able to is the key question one queen over here we do see some of these infested terrans perhaps going to try to move out i'm surprised that these investors are not going to try to burrow and then spawn infested terran into this location however stc knew about that strategy He's quickly doing a scanner sweep on that location making sure that there are no burrow road investor investors trying to come into here if there were burrow and investor they, that would deal a lot of damage one roach now trying to scamper away marauder even without that concussive shell now trying to take down this one roach however investors now moving out and now we see a queen engaging marines on steaming and trying to get into this position here investors the income the fungal growth and banelings able to finish off that whole entire army there and down it goes so we have a lot of siege tanks still sitting at this front door and very very brilliant play by fruit seller fruit seller still able to stick into this game even though he has a much smaller army 3200 versus 1800 siege tank over here on the low ground starting to blast away even further as these investors are still scampering about so these investors doing a great job just causing a lot of distraction and now some drones being transferred over here to this location now once again marines trying to push in siege tanks over here trying to blast away investors trying to get some fungal growth off and now one neuro parasite so one siege tank over here taking some damage are we gonna get another neuro parasite no no second neuro parasite and fruit seller will is, is taking a lot of damage out his army down to 75 minerals production wise he is training some zerglings and some banelings but this will not be enough as the stc now moving out one queen trying to engage as well but these marines with stim and one one upgrades will simply be able to roll over this expansion here will fruit vendor be able to do anything as he tries to get more and more units and it does not look like it as the person who decides to put sc2replays.net inserting the logo here and that means that the end of the game will be coming soon so fruit seller will be forced to say gg here on wow what never mind um, fruit seller will be forced to say GG here on Metalopolis, and wow, fruit seller playing a very uh, strange strategy. He has two spawning pools, and that is a very, very big noob mistake. The only time I've ever heard of a Zerg playing uh, putting down two spawning pools was when I was trying to teach a friend how to play, and he was like, "I don't understand. Zerglings are supposed uh, spawning pools allow you to make Zerglings. How come the spawning pool isn't spawning Zerglings?" But yeah, um, that's the only time I've ever seen it. And this is the first time I've ever seen a Korean player do it with two spawning pools. So yeah, Fruit Seller losing this game to OGS, the STC. STC m making just a very, very standard Marine Marauder Siege Tank army with medevac support. And it looks as though he was just constantly one step ahead the whole entire time using a lot of medevac play in order to force Fruit Seller to try to constantly come back and retreat back into his base, allowing the Terran player to take an additional expansion over here so when the terran player has equal expansions as the zerg and it will give him a an even greater harvester count just because of those mules and a better mineral rate and i believe that's the reason why ogs the stc was able to take this game thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between fruit seller and the stc here on metalopolis